Hello everyone and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve the famous porcelain skin technique. It will only take a few steps, so let's just go ahead. To get started we'll need to make a copy of the background layer and by now you should know the reason why we are doing that. The second step is going to take us to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. The amounts of radius will vary depending on your picture. A basic rule for you to start with this technique is to apply this blur by trying to keep the eyes and nose recognizable. I found that a radius of 39 works fine for this picture. As you can see, the whole picture has become blurred and we don't want that. We'd like to have this filter only affecting the skin of the person, right? Well, to achieve that we're gonna use something called layer mask. To bring a layer mask to the layer that we are working on, just click in this icon. That gave us a white box attached to the picture, meaning that everything that has been done to it is revealed. Now, to hide it away, you just have to paint on that layer mask with black color. So let's go ahead and select the brush tool by pressing B in our keyboard and double check that your foreground color is set to black. Okay, now that we've done that, we're gonna start painting over those areas that we didn't want to blur such as the eyes, mouth and eyebrows. Make sure that the opacity of the brush is set to 100. We are almost done. To finish it up, we are going to add some noise so that it doesn't look too cartoonish. We want to add that noise to the picture itself, not to the layer mask. So go ahead and select the picture. Now go to Filter, Noise and Add Noise. For this picture, I'm going to use an amount of 6%, distribution checked on Gaussian, and monochromatic is unchecked. Remember that you will need different settings for your picture. The noise now looks too sharp and obvious, so we are going to make our last step of this technique. We are going to go ahead to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur, and add a very subtle amount of blur. Notice that the changes are only affecting the skin since we are using a layer mask with this technique. We are done now. Let's take a look to our before and after. Pretty dramatic change, isn't it? Hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be notified for upcoming Photoshop tutorials. Bye!